Vice President Kamala Harris is expected to secure the Democratic presidential nomination tonight. Democrats will close their virtual roll call in less than an hour. She will become the first black woman and the first Indian American to be at the top of a major party ticket. NBC Connecticut political reporter Mike Savino got reaction from people right here in Connecticut. Black and Indian voters here in Connecticut are excited to have Harris representing them at the top of the Democratic ticket, but they say more importantly, they think she's qualified for the role. It means everything to me to have a black woman at the top of the Democratic ticket. The votes are in and Jameem Davis couldn't be happier. Vice President Kamala Harris is expected to be the Democratic nominee for president, a virtual vote making plenty of history for both black women and Indian Americans. If someone of our origin does something big, whether it's in a CEO of Microsoft, it always makes us happy. Connecticut Republicans say Harris's race doesn't matter. Voters are more concerned about who can make their life better. At the end of the day, I don't care what your race is, what your gender is, what your nationality, what your religion is. If you're running for president, you better have answers for those questions. Dylan Shah agrees. He says Indian Americans will care more about who deserves the office than they do a candidate's race or ethnicity. His Indian Association of Central Connecticut doesn't make endorsements. Its merit is uh, what we look at, uh, whether do they deserve to be there. Davis says Harris is the best candidate, touting her career and her stance on issues like abortion. But Republicans hope voters have had enough with a Democrat in the White House. She's most definitely qualified, and she's also right on the issues. All in all, I'd say the Biden-Harris administration has been a tremendous failure over the last number of years. One of the reasons that Davis is so excited, she says Harris's nomination reflects the fact that black women have been the backbone of the Democratic Party for years. From Middletown, Mike Savino, NBC Connecticut News.